there was a $42.6 million NVIDIA call print for the at the money strike. However, it had the 2027 expiration. So this is a call leap. Uh, we're looking past two years for the expiration in this case, which is pretty rare. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of time on this, but there's also an insane amount of premium on it as well. Something else notable about it is it was an opening order. So these contracts were bought to open. And the reason I know that is because the volume over here, the size of the trade is over the existing open interest. So we know that this was executed uh, for a buy order, also was above the ask. So we know it was a buy. Um, so here, this was an opening order. And if you go over to NVIDIA's chart, uh, we can see here there was a very nice pennant breakout about two weeks ago. I did a video on this breakout before it actually broke out. Um, so if you watch that one, uh, this one had a very nice move to the upside, went to my eventual target of 135, and then the final target of 140 just last week. So we finally completed that entire move. So now it's interesting to me that there's still a ton of bullish prints hitting the tape like this, even if it does have a long expiration, but also like some of these other prints that we saw uh, throughout the day as well. We have a ton of these calls uh, coming in. Some of these deep in the money calls, they show up as at the bid, although they were technically bought to open. So they were bullish prints despite them being red here on the tape. And the reason I know this, if you want to make it a bit more technical and I'll give you a crash course in about 20 to 30 seconds, um, is basically these bid side orders were getting mixed up because in video was trading so fast, the price of these contracts were trading so fast, uh, that some of these bid side orders got mixed up with ones that were executed at the ask, as we see here for this $3.5 million one. And the reason I know that is because the implied volatility is actually increasing on each of these orders. So we have a 60.30% implied volatility on this order I just showed you. And if we look at the end of the sequence, for example, uh, we can see over here at 60.71%. Each of these here had an increasing implied volatility, which means these were being bought. I mean, in this case here, bought to open because the size of the contracts, yet again, like that large NVIDIA order I showed you, is larger than the existing open interest on each of the orders. So all of these were in the money called buys, not sells, despite it showing sell on here. Uh, this is just a print you need to use context clues for. Um, and also, it'd be very unlikely that they'd be selling super deep in the money calls to open. That's a really weird strategy. So in this case, uh, they were buying these calls. So a lot of call buys over here, uh, bought to open, like I said, with a ton of premium. And that was consistent through the rest of the day. And this was only Friday. This is only Friday that I'm showing you here. Uh, 1.7 million for the February 21st, 3.4 million over here. Uh, 137 for the 1025 that's for the following week so this upcoming week so a ton of bullish prints which is interesting because uh, we are all the way up here at the all-time high or just near that all-time high level so these guys are expecting a continuation move beyond all-time high so what i'm looking at for this week is is there another trade setup on nvidia beyond the one that i just referenced over here uh, two weeks ago and there is potential for a nice curl and bounce setup so we had this downside move uh, last week here on tuesday you can see this red candle here and then we had a pick up immediately after. So my expectation is as long as we can hold above this low that formed over here, there should be continuation higher. This acts as a higher low. That's a bullish sign whenever you have a higher low. That's exactly what we saw right here, by the way. We had the major low form and then a higher low form, which means you're within a valid uptrend and it continues to trend to the upside. It's no different over here. We had a low form uh, right over here and I could draw that out to show you visually. And then we had a higher low over here. And typically with those higher lows, as long as we stay above them, so above this 128-ish level, we're going to have continuation a lot higher. Now, obviously, that's about a $10 differential from where we closed on Friday, and that's not good risk practice to have a 10 points of a difference here in NVIDIA. So what I'm looking at this week would be this on the 15-minute. And you can see here, if it's able to hold, in my opinion, above this gap that we had, this gap up, then I believe we have potential for continuation. If it fills this gap, however, it's pretty likely we're going to go back down into this range, into the lower 130s. So my plan for this week is to use this gap as my risk. So roughly around 135.74 as my risk, because if this is able to hold above, which there's also, by the way, a potential flag forming over here, if this can hold above um, this level, then we can see that continuation a lot higher, um, kind of like 
when we saw that original breakout move. So I'm watching for a breakout of this. Also, if you've watched this channel enough by now, you know that I wait for confirmation. So I'm not just going to buy this on Monday. Let's say if it opens in the middle here of this pattern, I'm not going to buy it and use 135.74 as my risk immediately. I'm going to wait for a breakout move, wait for the candle close. Let's say it closes uh, the first 15 minute candle, the hourly candle at 139, wait for that candle close. And then I would add off of that and then use this as my risk, continue to hold as long as it wants to continue a lot higher. I'm not going to add, like I just said, within this pattern, just not good to do without that confirmation. So I'm going to wait for that confirmation. And if I don't get it and it maybe breaks down, then I save myself from a potential losing trade. So that's why I always like to wait for confirmation. It just enhances the probability that the trade goes in the desired direction. So that's my plan for NVIDIA this week. Also have a plan for QQQ because we are teetering on the edge of a potential squeeze in my opinion, at least continuation squeeze since we already had one recently um, in the short term. But I'm looking for a breakout above this downtrend, super basic technicals. I know nothing really elaborate about this setup here, but I do like how it bottomed out um, recently over here where we had this low form picked back up and now is consolidating again. Kind of reminds me of an inverse head and shoulder, although it's not a perfect form of it. Uh, very similar structurally speaking. We have the left shoulder, what would be a left shoulder here. We have that head that formed with a nice low, and then we have a right shoulder shoulder, which was also followed by a gap up and consolidation. Um, so if we do break above this downtrend, I'm looking to add longs off of that as well with my risk being back under the downtrend. So a theoretical scenario would be either a gap up or a push immediately from the open. And I'd add somewhere around a candle close around 494, uh, 495, maybe even 496 at the highest. And my risk would be a candle close back under this downtrend. As long as we can remain above though, and let's say we don't close under like with this line would display, as long as we can remain above, either we retest it and continue higher or just continue higher from there, then it, those contracts will appreciate nicely. So that's what I'm looking for. This looks like a bullish structure, but again, waiting for candle confirmation, much like Nvidia, because what happens if we gap down on Monday? Uh, over here, maybe we gap down and you see price fall and open around 492. I'm not interested in taking that long setup. I'm only interested in taking the long setup above this downtrend here. Going to hold to uh, my personal trading rules so that serves me best. And that's my plan for QQQ for the upcoming week. Now, lastly, something interesting that caught my attention last week, especially near the latter half, you can see here on the daily chart is Bitcoin. And I rarely talk about this on the channel, uh, but I want to talk about it because there are a couple crypto related tickers in the stock market that are tradable based on this potential bullish breakout move. Now, what we have here is a potential breakout of this flag pattern on Bitcoin. You can see here, we've technically confirmed the breakout so far, not only the daily with multiple daily candles above, but also the weekly candle. And where this gets really interesting is if you go a lot further back to get a macro picture, you can notice this is a massive cup, as you can see here, and handle pattern with this flag kind of forming as that handle pattern that you'd reference in the cup and handle. But assuming this is the breakout that I've kind of been expecting now where we have this break above uh, the key resistance of the flag, the expected move bare minimum would be 85,000 on Bitcoin. So there's a potential for a pretty substantial move that'd be well beyond the current all-time high of around 73,800 on Bitcoin. So uh, this is definitely something that I want to catch. I'm not necessarily interested in adding Bitcoin itself, more so uh, the tickers that kind of follow along in suit um, in the stock market. So first of all, need to make sure that it stays above my circle here of around 67,000. If it were to fall back within the flag, that's not a good sign. All this up here would be a fake breakout. But at the moment, it looks promising, looks like it can have that continuation move, which means a ticker like coin is something that I'm very interested in. You could already see a volume starting to jut up quite a bit. We had a lot of upside uh, recently since a lot of people are speculating that we have that breakout continuation. And technically, we already had a little bit of that breakout. So it's responded nicely so far. But what I'm looking at here is a potential ad this week if it does retest this previous high level, which acted as a resistance last week on Wednesday, you can see here right around 211, 211 mid, be a nice retest ad spot, assuming, like I said earlier, Bitcoin can remain above 67,000. That's the contingency for any crypto related ticker I take. I don't care how good uh, the setup looks, at least for the crypto related ticker like coin. I need Bitcoin to remain above 67,000. Otherwise, none of these setups are going to work. They're all going to be a flop. So as long as Bitcoin stays above there and I can see a retest, test around 211 to 11 mid, 
I'm interested in this long setup. Uh, the weekly candle last week was ridiculously bullish. You can just see over here, like look at this breakout, very clean breakout. Typically a candle like this uh, means you're going to see a lot more upside to come, very likely to go up to this, first of all, downtrend retest, but then the final downtrend retest would be up here, uh, which would be right around like 257, depending on the time that it gets hit, of course, since there's an angle to it, but around 257, 258 uh, for that final target. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, especially if Bitcoin can have that breakout move to 85,000. Uh, it probably can surpass that at that point, but looking for something like that, want to add at least some type of exposure here. Uh, but of course, you make sure I optimize risk reward, which would entail around 211 for an ad. We'll be watching for that this week. Haven't really seen too much complementing flow just yet. So that'd be a nice thing to see in the upcoming week. But if you look here, yeah, nothing really crazy from last week um, at all. But that just goes to show there is a lot more potential for continuation, especially if whales start to hop on the boat, so to speak. Regardless, as always, appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll see you around.